Hey guys, welcome back to Portal of Wisdom. I'm back with another story today. So like and subscribe and click that little post notification bell so that you get alerted when I post new stories. And now on to today's story. So today's story, we are going to talk about a situation that happened in uh, the late 1800s, like 1878 in New Mexico. So in Santa Fe, New Mexico, there's this little church that was being built, the Loretto Chapel, and it was nearly complete. And the architect, his name was Projectus Moly, and he died before finishing the building. He was it was almost done, but when when he died, it left one major issue. So there was a choir loft that was 22 feet above the floor of the church. And there was no plans or discussion on how how the access was going to be to the choir loft. The church was pretty small, so it wasn't going to be easy to put in some stairs. No one knew what the architect exactly had in mind. Um, a lot of people came and looked, and they said a ladder was what was going to need to be used to access the loft. Well... Obviously, there's a lot more to this story than just putting a ladder in into this loft. And so the the story goes like this. The the sisters of Loretto, the nuns, they wanted a solution that didn't involve a ladder. So they prayed to the patron saint of carpenters and workers, St. Joseph. They prayed for nine days. And on the final day... They said that a man appeared at the front door of the church. He was looking for work, and he arrived with a box of simple wooden tools and a donkey. So this description was very similar to the way that St. Joseph is depicted in, you know, in the Bible and, and uh, anyhow. So at this, at this point... Um, what happens is, you know, the man, he gets to work on things and he's, he says he'll, he'll create a, uh, he'll create a solution for him, but he doesn't want anyone coming into the church while he's working. He wants to work independently without anyone watching over him or entering the church. And, and the sisters agreed to this condition and there's different accounts on, you know, how long it took him, um, you know, how many, how many nights. There's people that say it was one night all the way up to six months to complete this uh, project. But in any event, I suppose the sisters didn't really know when, when exactly he got done, uh, you know, according to the story. So the, the sisters basically said that, uh, that the stranger just, disappeared and so what what happened at this point they they go into the church and when they get inside there's this beautiful wooden spiral staircase that goes up to the loft and no one no one knew you know how long it had taken to build and and uh, I believe the sisters put an ad in the newspaper looking for the gentleman so they could thank him. And I don't know that he was even paid for his work. So anyhow, when they're looking over things, you know, more closely, uh, you know, some of the carpenters and stuff of, of the time had noticed that the staircase was not made out of wood that was sourced locally around the you know, Santa Fe area, and they also said that this staircase had like a double helix shape with two 360-degree turns, and the staircase had no visible supports. So carpenters today even said how this would be a challenge. Uh, a master carpenter named Tim Carter said this. He said, it's a, mag it's a magnificent work of art. That humbles me as a master carpenter to create a staircase like this using modern tools would be a feat. 
It's mind-boggling to think about constructing such a marvel with crude hand tools, no electricity, and minimal resources. So that, that's what he had to say about it, how it would even be amazing to create this today. So there was no newel or center pole to the, you know, to support the structure. The entire weight basically rests upon the bottom step and it's held together with wood pegs. There's not a single nail in it when it was completed. And there's 33 steps to get to the, the top. And people that, that say that this was divine intervention, that this was Jesus or Jesus Saint, Saint Joseph to, to do this, they're, they're looking at some significance of some of the, of some of the master work here. They said the, of, since there was 33 steps in the staircase, they said, that number matches the age of Jesus when he was crucified. And that's symbolic, you know, and astounding, uh, the symbolic and, and astounding uh, elements of the, of the staircase are part of what made it extra famous. But uh, it does have a black railing on it now, and that, that was added several years later just to help people climb the stairs. But uh, I don't know when they added the railing, there could be some nails in in that part maybe but everything was made with uh you know wood pegs and no center pole to wrap the you know steps around and attach them to or anything like that so there's been some recent discoveries where i believe some people say that that they think they may know who may have built the the staircase and these people, I believe, are, are saying that uh, it was, it was, I believe, a, a Frenchman that, that lived in the area. And this Frenchman, his name was Francois Jean Rocha. So there is something in the Santa Fe newspaper that references him possibly building this staircase. And I believe it was after after he died, that it was uh, denoted that, that he may have been the one that, uh, that did the handiwork on the, on the staircase. But a lot of people, I think, look at this and say that, uh, you know, Jesus or St. Joseph was involved or sent this gentleman to create this masterpiece in this church. And... And anyhow, a lot of people still go to this this Loretta Chapel just to marvel at this wondrous staircase that was built by, you know, wooden hand tools and and pegs and everything, no no nails and just beautiful handiwork spinning, you know, in two 360 degree you know, turns to get to the choir loft, and it's uh, it it's pretty cool. So, anyhow, that is the story of the of the staircase, possibly built by Saint Joseph, or you know that uh, other people believe that Jesus had sent uh, or Saint Joseph had sent this uh, other gentleman to create in. Uh, nice you know religious fashion so if you like these kind of stories like and subscribe to my channel